Well, hello everyone. How you doing? So, month of December, almost over, 2017. <sighs> Goodbye. See ya, Felicia. That's how I say. See ya later. But thought I would just real quickly do a real quick little recap of some of the things I caught over my house in the month of December. So I thought you might enjoy this little trip. Uh, hey, listen, the good thing is, is that it's good to know that they are keeping the skies kimmed up. So I got this one because there are some people who still believe that these are nothing more than condensation trails from jets. They never can quite understand that, well, condensation trails do not linger in the atmosphere for, well, let's see, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40 minutes. Nor do they have a tendency to have a dispersal pattern that is very oddly similar to an aerosol spray. But hey, what do I know? Well, I am an observer like you are. And after doing this year after year after year, having literally, literally hundreds of hours of documented evidence of chemtrailing, you can now become pretty good at seeing the type of chemtrails. They almost, you can get good enough to see the different type of formulas that they're using. Now, this one has a unique dispersal pattern. As you could see, how they lay it down, and it's very thick, very defined in a straight line. Then we get, as it begins to interact with both the wind patterns the atmosphere and the conditions of the atmosphere, it literally unwinds. It's very odd. It is not like smoke or a cloud that has a dispersal pattern that virtually seems almost seamless. No, these have the ones that where you can actually see how they unroll themselves, how the dispersal pattern of the elements that they're putting out there, how they begin to interact with the atmosphere. I mean, look at this. You can begin to see, even as the sun is setting uh, way into the south here, look how the dispersal patterns begin to dispense themselves through the atmosphere. Now, this is very telling because you can see here, this is normal strata clouds that are obviously interacting with the winds. I live right up next to the mountains at 6,000 feet. So we get some pretty interesting phenomenon here. And you learn how to read this. But as you can see from the very beginning, where this jet started dispensing, unloading whatever they're spraying, how it begins to react. Now here is a great picture of the sky that you can see. Chemtrail here chemtrail here, chemtrail coming up here. And then you can see the rest of the sky. Yeah. Again, check that out. And of course, who's ever downwind or underneath this is breathing this. Here is yet. Now, as I said, I live at 6,000 feet. So when we get these birds that are really up there, and I have to use sometimes my telephoto lens to catch them. They're up there. I mean, these are military aircraft. They're not commercial. Um, when they start getting up there to 40, 50,000 feet, uh, those are not commercial uh, airliners. And as you can see here through this capture, you can really see how the dispersal agent is not uniform. Now, if you would see a contrail, you would see a uniform dispersion, but you can definitely see in this case how that is being dispersed. And here's a good example of how they will come along and literally dump their load 
And again, you see how it is like a coil, uncoiling itself. It's very interesting. Same type of dispersal pattern as we saw in the previous ones. Again, if you study these, and listen, you don't have to be an engineer or a scientist. You can observe. You can begin to see how this agent, whatever they got in here, whatever they're combining this nice little cocktail for humans to and everything else to be breathing. And again, you can clearly see this is not a contrail. These are actual dispersal agents, whatever it is. And again, always in the spiral. And here you can really get a very clear picture of this. Uh, fantastic skies. Maybe this is what's giving us all the pretty pictures. Now, last full moon. I've been watching this for literally, I guess, when the event happened. Been about six, seven months. But <clears throat> new impact crater on the moon. Yep. And you'll see this. Pretty interesting. There it is, and you can spot it as well. Again, very pretty pictures. And as I close out, I want to let you know that I feel very safe because we seem to have a lot of company above our heads, above my house, above my neighborhood. And what's really disturbing is that sometimes these birds are hot right here. This chamber is empty. This one is not. So just to let you know, uh, here is the second bird that was coming in. Um, found it very interesting. Look at the instrumentation they now have on these. Communication here, uh, laser guided up here for the missiles that are on here. You can see these are arm ramps, um, surface to air, excuse me, not surface to air, <laughs> air to air. Uh, this one looks to me to be, I, I don't know, uh, it's been a while since I was up close with a lot of these, but you can see this one is definitely looks like a uh, hellfire. Um, I always found it interesting, check out uh, again, more advanced um, instrumentation. Just thought I'd show it to you. He actually waved to me. So, you know, figured that they may have been on a nice little training mission, who knows. Now, this guy uh, came over with the same group and this is the air cab. You can see it right up here. Um, Looks like these guys, the insignia on that looks like the ace of spades, if you, uh, from what I can tell. But anyway, I just thought you might like to see what my month of December was like over my head. If you got uh, pictures that you think was unusual, send them in to me. And make sure to tune in tonight. We've got a really good special guest. We're going to be talking about have we found God's home planet? All right, we'll talk to see you soon. All right.